Hello everyone, this is Mock and I'm here with another video about Last Fortress Underground. New features in the game, but is it worth it? I'll give you my opinion, but first, if you like my videos, don't forget to like it after watching it, you know, I'll be very grateful. Combat gadgets are available for some elite heroes of Season S0. I say some because it is striking that they are not available for the Wildlings faction. The gadgets increase attributes such as weapon defense, tactical defense and HP for tanks, and tactical or weapon attack, intelligence or STR and HP for damage dealers. Additionally, when activating the gadget, they will add a new skill for the respective hero. If you are between seasons S0 to S5, this could be very helpful and improve the performance of your formation since as we know, first the Watchers and later the Minutemen are the dominant factions, and heroes like Roland, Laurel, Kelly, Bolton, Benson, Kobaya and Rebecca have gadgets. However, when we move to the dimensions with the appearance of the Summit heroes, this goes to hell. Hey, you can't miss this deal. Try Paxify for free and gain access to insane first deposit bonuses. Thousands of gamers have unlocked epic savings, leveling up to the top alliances. New players can try Paxify service for free with a $4.99 bundle, zero cost and zero risk. And that's not all. Paxify offers incredible first deposit bonuses. Take a look at this amazing offer. You can get up to $410 in bonuses. Click the link in the description box of the video to try Paxify for free today. But remember, this is a time-limited offer. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. To unlock them, we must collect these specific blueprints for each hero, in addition to these other items we can use to upgrade and improve them. How do we get these items? By attacking the Zombie Queen with a rally. Check in the event menu for the recommended formation which will give you a better chance of getting rare rewards. We just have to set the rally and it will be completed by players or bots, so we can quickly do our 5 daily attempts. Let's see what we can get. The different boxes we get are selectable, so we can choose what blueprints we want. Because now I'm on Dimensions, my third track is made up of some of these heroes, so let's check out the gadgets for Bolton, Benson and Blanche. By unlocking Bolton's gadget, called the Camo Shield, Bolton will gain up to 6% tactical defense and 6% weapon defense, plus up to 24% HP. The gadget has a skill called Camo Shield that restores up to 30% of the hero's HP when using focus skills. Benson's is called Fire Thrower and grants him up to 6% weapon attack and 6% STR, also up to 24% HP. With the gadget skill, Benson can accumulate up to 5 layers of burning status. In Blanche's case, we find the gadget at 3 levels. Blade Guitar, as in the case of Benson, increases up to 6% weapon attack, 6% STR and 24% HP. Its skills increases up to 15% the damage done to back row enemies. The Icy Guitar increases up to 12% weapon attack, 12% STR and 48% HP. Its skill increases up to 20% the damage to enemies in the back row. 
And finally, the Midnight Poodle increases the weapon attack up to 25% as well as the STR, and HP up to 80%. The skill restores up to 700 focus points when performing critical attack. It also restores up to 100 points of focus for each additional living hero in your formation over the enemy's heroes. If the number of living heroes is equal or less than the enemies, it restores up to 100 focus points. Well guys, I hope this can be helpful for you. As always, join my Discord and follow me in my other social media. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate notifications so you know when I upload new content. This is Mok, I wish you all a great day, bye bye.